Morning, it's Corey Arso here from Stretch Fitness. I am here with two lovely ladies who are here to tell us all about the grandparents raising grandchildren. Uh, I hate to say fundraiser, but it's the gift wishing we've been doing all week. Ladies, introduce yourselves to our members and tell us what you're up to today. I'm Pam McKinnon. I'm a co-facilitator of the support group. We've been running for about three nows, three years, and this is actually uh, past. I'm Pat Poirier, and I'm another facilitator at the Grandparent Group, and we've been going to, to provide support for grandparents who are raising their grandchildren. It's how we started, because someone contacted Gloria at East Prince Seniors Initiative and wondered, is there any help for us? And from there, we've just kept going, and we've just been overwhelmed with the response we've received from the members of the gym in helping this group of people have a Christmas like you and I have. Yeah. Some of the gifts, most of the gifts, are things that you or I would take for granted. Pam, tell them about the, the light trip that we went on and the surprise about downtown. Mm -hmm. Just an example, sometimes I think we don't even really truly grasp how big such small items we take for granted are. We did a light Christmas tour with them, had took them on a tour bus, had got, got them a meal, and the children, not one of these individuals, which there was 35 of them, had ever seen the lights in Rustico. We took them on a drive through Gavin Estates and through the city. And when we were coming downtown, one of the grandmothers said, who lives within probably less than a mile away, she's like, wow, the Water Street has candles lit up. You stop and think like you live in this city and you've never seen them lit up, but they taxi everywhere. So you're not going to spend that $5 to drive through the city for a light tour. So that being said, her grandchildren that she's raising would never have seen the lights lit up just in the very city that she lives. Um, other examples are of kids that have never seen the Confederation Bridge and they live right here in the city. Um, we take so many things for granted and we do. We've had the luxury and support of many people in the last two or three years, and they have been totally floored and overwhelmed that people look at them, including right from government themselves. Any time that they spoke about their situation and, and tried to enlighten people, they are even overwhelmed at the fact that they're such heroes in our community, raising these children on pensions that was totally for themselves with no dependents. Yeah and not eligible for any financial assistance. Um, unfor and fortunately, that is it's changing. Yes. And that's yes. Just recently. Well. Yes. Yes. Just yes. recently. Yes. 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 Great. Which yes. is certainly society owes these uh, grandmoms and grandfathers a great deal mm -hmm. because they certainly have. And on the trip was the first time we'd met many of the children. You could never have met a nicer group of kids. Mm -hmm. I was sitting on the bus at the front as they were getting off, and this one young lad, about 13, stopped and said, that was a lovely evening, thank you. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great. great? And yeah. that the gym has done so much for us, you don't know how many smiles you've put on faces. Sure. Yeah. I wish we could have pictures to put <laughs> and up we for have the sure. luxury, yeah. which we feel Thank you so much. Yes, we, we feel such gratitude, but then, we actually have the luxury that they look yes. at us and say, you're our angels. Like we, and we don't, we, it's not coming out of our pockets. Yes. It's, we're, t we're the messengers yes. and, and the transportation yeah. vehicles sure. to giving them this happy. Yeah. But they do like think like we, you're an angel in our life, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's an so awesome. Just, so if you've not seen the lobby, the tree is in the lobby. It's, a, it's a, our, our, our Christmas tree with wishes, little gift cards on there. Some of the wishes are, uh, uh, winter gloves for a man, uh, haircut, uh, shampoo in style for a woman, taxi voucher, very small items that mean a lot to these people. Uh, we've had, the tree has been emptied twice. We've had to go back to this group again and ask them for more wishes. You've been so generous. So uh, the tree will be refilled again in the next hour or so with more wishes. So we'd certainly love if you could stop in, grab something. We'd like to have them back by the 15th of, of December, by next week, so we can distribute them. So there's lots of time. So we have a week to come in and fulfill a wish. So thank It'll you. It'll be so really nice. We're, on the 19th, we're actually 
trading uh, through some yeah, donations from the community. Yeah. We're trading them to a Christmas meal. Oh, um, and we would love to be able to just present them with sure. their little yes. Christmas Wonderful. packages at that There you day. go. So the 19th. There we go. Great. Perfect. Thank, thank you so much, you, ladies. Well, so thank much, you. Lori. You're very so welcome. And all of you all members. members. Not myself. It's, it's the members. Thanks. All well, of the members. Perfect. Starts at the top. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. It warms our hearts. Guys, thank you very much. This is Corey from Stretch.